Millions of Americans suffer from lower back pain and try a wide variety of treatments to ease their pain. They include drugs, massage, chiropractic, and physical therapy. But CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says maybe you need to work on your mind as much as your body. Doctor? Yeah, that's right, Maurice and Christine. State of mind has a lot to do with pain perception. Play with your kids or watch a fun movie and you actually forget about your pain for a while. Now a new study tries to use that mind-body connection to ease back pain. There are two well-known mind-body therapies. One is already shown to be effective for treating depression and other chronic conditions. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, is a therapy that tries to address what are the behaviors that we do because of pain, and what are the behaviors that might actually help to um, alleviate pain versus help to actually create or keep pain going. How do I gradually get back to those activities that I've given up because of pain? The other technique, mindfulness-based stress reduction, has not been well studied. So you're bringing an atmosphere of friendliness and kindness to observing your experience just as it is. Mindfulness empowers people to recognize is that everything's always in a state of change. Breathing in, I'm aware I'm feeling this sensation. It's uncomfortable. Breathing out, I meet myself with compassion, friendliness, uh, openness. 342 patients between 20 and 70 years old with back pain that had lasted for at least three months participated in eight weekly two-hour sessions of either mindfulness or cognitive therapy. A third group received usual care. Outcomes were assessed at six months and one year. Cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness-based stress reduction led to an increased likelihood of having clinically meaningful improvement in back pain than those who were only receiving usual care. Care. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Benefits in decreased pain and improved function lasted for a full year, which is uh, not common amongst most treatments for chronic pain. Now, the other benefit is that these techniques are something a pain patient can add to their personal coping toolbox. When it hurts, you go back to whatever worked for you, and no drug side effects. By the way, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> go to your happy place. Go to your happy place. That's yeah. It. It's hard to get there, though, for a lot of people. Well, especially when you're in pain. But, yes. You know, yes. You work at it, it helps. Depends right. on the day. <laughs> yeah. Can't hurt, right? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Matt. All right, weather picture.